and you will feel the same pain that I have <laughs> longing for these plushies. It is so, so perfect. But that price is so, so high. If I win a lottery, I won't say anything, but there will be signs. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Mimim, and welcome to my world. So for today's video, I'm going back to one of the main reasons why I started this channel. Of course, making vlogs of my experiences, of the events that I go to, unboxing multiple collectibles and a lot of merchandise is part of this channel. But one of the main reasons that I started this channel is to give an inside look of the people that collect Pokemon plushies or plushies in general. A lot of people collect plushies but I don't see a lot of videos about the tips and tricks about collecting them, ranking multiple plushies, you know the things that the figure community has. So I want that in the plushie community. In general, I just don't see a lot of discourse in video format about collecting plushies. I have already made a video about how I clean my collection, about what to do and what not to do. But for this week's video, I want to show you a list of my all-time grail Pokemon plushies. These plushies are not in my collection and probably will not be in my collection because these plushies are very rare and mostly so so expensive. You might not know that these plushies exist, but now you will, and you will feel the same pain that I have <laughs> longing for these plushies. So for this week's video, we'll be going through my gray list of legendary Pokemons because as you can see in my background, I am a collector of legendary Pokemons. All right, let's get started. Top 10 on my list is the Jumbo Deoxys Heartland plush. This was first released back in 2004, so it is now like a 20-year-old plush. If I remember correctly, Heartland is a branch of Tomy, and they have released some amazing Pokemon plushies back in the day, and they're very rare and very expensive nowadays. I don't know if Heartland still exists nowadays, but one of the Pokemon plushies that they released is the Deoxys Jumbo Heartland plush, and it turned out so great and I love the design. Last listing that I saw of this one sold for 66,666 yen. It is in good condition but it doesn't have its paper tag. So if it's like in a mint condition with its paper tag and all, it could be higher. Top 9 on my list is the Shaman Skyform Daisuke Club Plush. Just to give you guys some context, the Pokemon Daisuke Club was established back in January 2004. It was a fan club including the video games, TCG, anime, basically everything that it has to do with the Pokemon franchise. It had an annual fee and they would receive a membership card that they can use in multiple events in that year. If you want me to create a separate video about the Pokemon Daisuke Club, let me know down below. So Shaman Skyform is one of the plushies that they gave away to their members. It was not for sale and it was limited to around 400 pieces. Last sold listing I saw of this one sold for around 77,777 yen. I don't know what's the obsession of Japanese people with repeating numbers but <laughs> yeah it sold for that much. And this one was in amazing shape and the paper tag was still intact. So maybe you can find one that has no paper tag and in a worse condition for lesser. Top 8 on my list is the Arceus Daisuke Club Blush. Just like the Shaman, this was also from the Pokemon Daisuke Club. It was given away and not for sale. The Arceus and the Shaman are Pokedoll DX plushies. And Pokédolls are this specific type of Pokémon plushies that are like Funko. They have this chibi kind of look and have a bigger head on them. 
and they're called Pokédoll DX because they're the bigger version of the Pokédoll plushies. The Shamin plush was released at around 2008, and the Arceus Daisuke Club plush was released at 2009, so a year after Shamin. I saw one for sale like a year ago, but looking through the listings, they already deleted their listing. But I put this higher on the list because it's rarer for me to find a listing of this one rather than the Shaman plush. Now top 7 on my list is the Mew Pokemon Unite plush. This was announced for the first ever Pokemon Unite anniversary. It was given away to random 100 people that would tweet about the anniversary with a certain hashtag. Mew is dressed up in this bard-like outfit, and it's a Mew Hollower, I guess, in the game. And it looked so, so cute in it. This was the first ever Pokemon plush giveaway from the Pokemon company that I could have joined in, because this was released back in 2002 while I was already collecting. But it is Japan only, and I'm not a lucky person in general, but yeah, who knows? Last listing of this sold for 80,000 yen. It was in great condition and it has the congratulatory letter. That's what's missing with a lot of these listings. There are listings of it in um, Mercari, but they are missing the letters and they're sold for a higher price. So that's why they're stuck there. Top 6 on my list is the Shiny Legendary Beasts Pokemon. They are in multiple people's grail list, for sure. The Pokemon company doesn't really release a lot of shiny versions of Pokemons. Well, more today than the yesteryears. But back in 2010, it was not a regular thing and it was not for sale also. It was a lottery prize. The lottery went around for a month, starting in July 2010. And if you buy like 2,500 yen worth of merchandise from the Pokemon um, Center, you would have one entry to this lottery. If you were lucky enough to win, you would have a chance to choose one of these shiny legendary beasts. Last listing that I saw of these sold for around 333,333 yen for all three legendary beasts. So around... 100k yen each they are in mint condition and the paper tags are also mint so i guess the price is so high but you can find some lower prices for these if you do not care about the condition if you do not care about the paper tags now moving on to my top five of the list it's the dark lugia plush just like the shiny legendary beast, a lot of people are after this plush. This plush was first released back in 2005 as a pre-order bonus to commemorate the GameCube game Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It was also released back in 2009 in the US Pokemon Centers, but it is now discontinued. Last listing that I saw of this sold at around 200,000 yen. And it was the 2005 version and it was in mint condition. The paper tag was also in mint. So it is so, so perfect. But that price is so, so high. Now moving on to the top four of my list. It's the Jumbo Lugia Tomy Fuzzy Plush that has an adorable Pikachu on its back. This is a vintage Tomy Plush and back then, Tomy Plushies have this fuzzy texture on them. Tomy released a lot of these jumbo Pokemon plushies and one of their releases is this very very cute Lugia with a very very adorable Pikachu on its back. This is reminiscent to the second Pokemon movie. It was called the Pokemon Movie 2000. I know, it's so original but it was released back in 1999. <laughs> it is one of my most favorite Pokemon movies and in that movie, Ash and Pikachu was riding Lugia. This plush was first released in 1999, both in the US and in Japan. And the last listing that I saw of this sold for 250,000 yen. It has the Pikachu intact on its back because multiple listings of this plush don't have the Pikachu already on its back. 
and it was in a rough shape so you can imagine in a more perfect um condition this would fetch great numbers now we are entering the top three of my list and these are the grails of my grail and these are unattainable plushies but one can hope you know top three on my list is the life-size zera aura plush from the pokemon center this is one of the more modern plushies in the list but the price of this is off the roof it was first up for pre-order back in september 2018 i wasn't collecting by then i was still starting to work and i didn't know about it because if i knew about this i would have bought it in a heartbeat if i have the money but yeah but i also didn't have my connections now i didn't know how to pre-order this from japan it was up for pre-order for around fifty thousand yen and if i had my capacity now back then i would order this in a heartbeat the last item that I saw of this was listed at around 300,000 yen and it was up for bidding so that was just the starting bid. I could not get a screenshot of that now but for sure it went for way beyond that. Now we are entering my top 2. Top 2 on my list is the Jumbo Latios and Laties Fuzzy Tomy Plushies. It was first released back in 2002, so we are now back to the vintage plushies. But what do you expect? Vintage plushies are much rarer now. And especially these jumbo plushies, they were already sold at a higher price for a child's toy back then, so not a lot of people bought this. Nobody thought that they would balloon in prices, of course, just like the vintage Pokemon TCG and any vintage Pokemon merchandise. So because they are targeted to children, not a lot of these items have survived to this day. You know, because children play with it and they get rough with it, so you can't see a lot of mint conditions of these plushies. This is an absolute grail for really really serious Pokemon plush collectors, especially vintage Pokemon plush collectors. This is one of the plushies in this list that is not listed that much, and the price of these are crazy. At this point, the price of this plush is whatever anyone is willing to pay. Depending on the condition, if it's still intact and the paper tag is intact, anything is possible. Now for my top one, this is the grail among all of my grails. This is not just top one because it's expensive or because it's rare. It's because these legendary Pokemons are from my favorite season of Pokemon. And yes, I said legendary Pokemons because it's a trio. Top one on my list is the Jumbo Legendary Beast Tomy Fuzzy Plushies. Entei, Suicune, and Raikou are one of my most favorite Pokemon legendaries and because they're from my favorite generation, Gen 2. They were first released back in 2001, back in Pokemon Center New York. The Pokemon Center New York is not existing anymore, so a lot of these discontinued plushies already. These are just a sample of the Grail plushies that came from the Pokemon Center New York. These are one of those plushies as well that are in a lot of serious collectors lists. These are so so expensive each, even in bad condition. As a perfectionist and a completionist, finding these in mint condition and in complete intact condition, they could just stay in my dream. <laughs> if I win a lottery, I won't say anything but there will be signs. AKA you will see these plushies around my room. <laughs> oh wow, that was a journey and I'm glad I got to share this list with all of you. If you want me to make a gray list of non-legendary Pokemons, please let me know down below. And for you, what are your grail plushies? Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell button so that you would be notified for future videos. Please share this to all of your friends, your titos, your titas, your grandmoms, your granddads, everyone. Alright, that's it. Bye!